Tom Marks with the Marks Law Firm in Orlando, Florida, and welcome to the Healthy Family Law Attorney. So I've had a couple of questions sent in by viewers, and I wanted to go through those with you today. So first question a viewer sent in was, does Florida recognize common law marriage? Well, the short answer is no, Florida does not recognize common law marriage, and in fact, abolished common law marriage in Florida in 1967. However, there are several states apparently that do still recognize common law marriage. Now, I only uh, am licensed in the state of Florida, so I'm not uh, giving any opinions on the law of any other states, but I know that under common law marriage, if that's recognized in another state, you would have to then seek a divorce in that state. Florida would not recognize it, so you could not uh, get a divorce um, e in Florida, even if it was recognized in the state you came from. Also, um, you would not inherit from the person you're common law married to in Florida. Uh, you would not be able to make medical decisions for that person. Um, in fact, um, you would be considered essentially cohabitating. Um, a little known but interesting fact is that up until about, I think it was 2016, co uh, cohabitation in Florida was actually illegal, but of course not enforced. And so uh, a common law marriage would be essentially cohabitating uh, in Florida since common law marriage is not recognized under the law. Now, I would uh, recommend or suggest that if you are cohabitating and you're gonna buy any uh, substantial asset, like a house, car, boat, whatever, um, that you put it in joint name. If it's in your um, boyfriend, girlfriend's name, whatever, um, then you don't have any ownership interest in it. There are things called cohabitation agreements that can kind of be, well, can be drafted by an attorney that can state what your rights and obligations are under the cohabitation agreement. Of course, if you have a, a child um, um, outside of marriage, which then would be a paternity case, so you would have to seek the court, especially if you're a man, you'd have to seek the uh, court's a declaration that you are the father. Uh, obviously, the mother is, is the mother. So under cohabitation, fathers really don't have any legal rights with regard to the minor children until the court declares you to be the legal father. Okay, real quick, the second question was, is Florida a community property state? The answer to that one is no also. Florida is an equitable distribution state. Equity means fairness. Distribution means how is the court going to distribute the marital assets and the marital debts. So marital assets and debts are defined as anything that the two um, parties accumulated during the marriage from the date of the marriage up until the date of filing the petition for dissolution of marriage. It doesn't matter who whose name they're titled in, um, those assets are identified as marital between those two dates, date of marriage, date of filing the petition. Okay, so we're not a community property state. We're an equitable distribution state. There are only nine states as of 2021 that are still community property states. I think, um, again, I'm not giving uh, legal opinions uh, regarding community property states because I'm not licensed in any other state. But in Florida, I believe the equitable distribution aspects are a very powerful for asset protection. Um, that means that the claims of creditors, if a creditor has a judgment against one of the spouses, but the assets are in both spouses' names, like jointly titled, then the creditor cannot seek um, to levy on those assets. Also, you know, we have homestead protection, 
uh, your, your home is protected against claims of creditors, unlimited. So you can have a multi-million dollar home and creditors can't attach that either. A uh, little known law that uh, it's your homestead in a municipality. So if you live within the city limits, it's only effective up to one half acre. And if you're out in the unincorporated county, uh, your homesteads uh, can include up to 160 acres. So interesting fact, better uh, creditor protection under an equitable distribution state. Um, assets, doesn't matter how they're titled, uh, as long as they were um, accumulated um, or earned during, during the marriage, um, unless you were given a gift by say a family member um, and it was given only to you and you did not commingle it with other marital assets. So if you received $50,000 from an inheritance from your parents, and you put it in a separate account, you didn't commingle it in a joint account, then it maintains its separate uh, nature. Okay, so those are the two questions for today. Um, are we a common law marriage state and are we a community property state? The answer to both is no. I hope that um, answer or those answers or that analysis help you today. Um, if you had any questions on that, if you have any further questions, just let me know, put it in the comment section below. As always, hit those like and subscribe buttons and that bell icon and don't miss uh, another video. So appreciate it. Have a great week. Talk to you soon. Bye.